Okay, so uh, I've got my two liquids, uh, actually my one. This is the one you can see down at the bottom. I had crushed my pills, uh, and they have been soaking in the 70% isopropyl alcohol for the past couple of days. Um, and I kept thinking that uh, the one on the left here is the one with the... Uh, there's, I think, eight crushed 200 milligram um, ibuprofen pills in here. And the reason I used eight was because I used an actual pill crusher. And um, it uh, had a lot of grooves in it. And I was afraid I was losing some powder. Anyway, so it's been sitting still for like two, three days actually now. Um, I had shaken it up the first couple days uh, periodically so that um, the ibuprofen would... Um, dissolve into the ibuprofen and then it's been sitting there for another two days and I kept thinking it was pink um, because of the way that the light refracts off you see how the top uh, looks pink I thought the bottle uh, looked pink from the angle without putting this in it gives it kind of a pinkish tinge um, but when I started drawing off the liquid I saw that it was clear so I'm going to use this little dropper that I got at Walmart in this pack for like two bucks um, there were two of them. One of them has a little curved tip, which I don't think I need. So I'm using the one that has just the little, um, straight tip. And I'm just going to draw off, uh, all of the, you can see now clear alcohol solution that has the ibuprofen dissolved in it. So let me do that. And then... Uh, I will show you once we get close. The reason I did these um, tall, these are two dram bottles that I got at, they're glass, and they come with a little plastic cap. Well, yeah, a little plastic cap um, that I got at the container store um, because you want to use preferably a glass bottle to do this since it's basically chemistry and you're dealing with an alcohol solution. Um, you don't want to introduce uh, any plastic particles which can migrate into the solution. Um, so you want to keep it clean. Uh, so you're going to use glass. And also, the reason I chose a tall one, before I had I'd used a, a shorter, stockier um, bottle, but uh, this I wanted this taller because then when I get down to the bottom, there'll be just a smaller amount because of the, the circle diameter of the container um, down at the bottom near the... Um, all of the leftover particles um, from the filler of the pills themselves. So I'm going to continue drawing this off. I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay, I've drawn off to the bottom and you as much as possible don't want to shake it because then you'll reshake up and remix those elements. Um, so I may have to do <laughs> this little one is about the same uh, height here. I have another one that I had used previously and it's going to have the same problem um, that it's about the same height as this. It might reach a little further actually. Let's see. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, what I can do is tilt it as long as I do it carefully um, so that I'm not remixing. Um, and then that last little bit, I'll just give up as lost just because I don't want to grab any of this sediment, um, this filler that's settled to the bottom. I don't want any of that in my mixture um, because what will happen is once I get this clear one, I can mix it with, um, with the aloe vera gel and I get this. Uh, interestingly enough, the reason why it's white instead of clear is when you shake it or mix it, you introduce bubbles into um, the liquid uh, with the clear aloe vera gel and uh, all those so there's just thousands of tiny bubbles in here and uh, all those little bubbles are refractive surfaces and it gives it kind of a pearlescent glimmery white color uh, and the reason I know that that's what it is is because I actually saw this documentary on how they make candy canes and they do much the same thing where the candy cane with the straight sugar solution is clear pretty much and then as they fold it um, it introduces air into the mixture and it makes it white it's really awesome you should look up the last of this off 
So I'm going to tilt it, and again, I'm going to be very careful with what I'm doing so you can see I got um, some clear space, and I'm going to very carefully only draw off clear liquid. I don't want any of those boo-boo fillers that I have so carefully made a solution to get rid of. And when I get down to you can see it's the those fillers are starting to swirl like mud a little bit um, from the movement of this liquid being drawn off. So if you think you're getting too close just give up on it. You don't want to. That's fine. Uh, that last little bit with these yucky fillers. Gross. Gross. Um, and that's it. So now I have this alcohol ibuprofen solution, which again, you can mix with just plain aloe vera gel. And then you will get your topical uh, very creamy um, ibuprofen solution. Ibuprofen cream. It's, it's very nice. Goes on real smooth. Um, absorbs very quickly. So that's it. There we go. Oops. <laughs>